Coach, the game was closed, but your players didn't lose composure. What was your game plan tonight? Well, uh, we talked about it at halftime, the fact that we were struggling offensively because uh, just like our last game against Northport, um, Rain of Shine was, they were switching all the pick and rolls, particularly with our import. And we were having a hard time getting to a rhythm offensively. So we talked about it at halftime that we're just gonna just focus in on defense. We're not gonna worry about the offense anymore. We'll find ways to score, but we're gonna defend the other side. And that was really the focus in the second half. And I think that's the reason why we got the win. Of course, when you play defense, you also have to get the rebound. So we did a pretty good job of controlling the boards in the second half. Coach, talk about the game of uh, Elaine Malixi and Chris Manchero. Yes, uh, we needed them, particularly in the second half. Uh, we saw some matchups that we liked. Uh, it wasn't just the two of them. It was also Bong Kento, who helped us down the stretch. Uh, but we saw some matchups with of Chris Bonchero using the dribble to get to the basket and score. And we wanted to take advantage of the fact that both Elaine and Bong Kento were being guarded by smaller guys on the, uh, on the offensive end. So we just kept going to those matchups and they worked out for us. Now we turn you over to our press friends. First up is Ms. Camille Naredo. Hi, Coach. Congratulations. Hi, thank you. Thank you. Coach, uh, can you discuss that last inbound play with Bong and uh, Chris Bancaro? Was that the plan? <laughs> Not exactly, no. <laughs> I was hoping we would get it in a lot earlier than that, but I do give Bong Kinto credit for not panicking. Uh, and he just kept holding the ball until he, he saw the right guy, and, and Chris made the correct cut to the basket. Uh, I thought Rain and Shine played pretty good defense in our out of bounds at the end of the game, but that was just a heads up play by Bon Kinto and a great pass. Coach, uh, just to follow up on that, there were 20 seconds left, but you opted to inbound at the half court. Um, can you discuss the trust in the team, you know, uh, even if you were going to be giving the ball back to, to Rain or Shine? Well, sometimes you're just worried about getting the basketball in bounds. That's the most important thing sometimes. And uh, where you feel comfortable is where you're going to take it out. Uh, we did have a lead at the end, so we could have actually, if we scored, because we were thinking they might foul us. So if we scored, we had an advantage going down the stretch where we could still play defense against their offense. So that was the thinking. I mean, that's always a, a toss up. Uh, sometimes it's hard to get the ball in bounds full court. Sometimes it's hard to get it inside court, depending on who you're playing against. So you make your decisions based on that. Sometimes you make it based on time. You may not have enough time, so you'll take it out of half court because you just don't have enough time to be able to, to execute the entire way and still get the ball back. So. Uh, it depends on the situation. Thanks, Coach. Congrats. Thank you. Mr. Ray Hoble, up next. Hi, Coach. Congratulations. Hi, Ray. Hello. Uh, Coach, uh, your guards were able to take advantage of their matchup situations. Was it because of the fact that the Rain or Shine was doing a great job on your import? Well, in the first half, I thought they did a good job on the import because um, we kept setting pick and rolls with them. And they kept switching them. And instead of diving into the basket, um, uh, Tony was popping a lot. So it, it allowed the smaller guys to be able to guard him from the defense, from the, um, from the uh, outside, from the perimeter. In the second half, we just looked at the floor and said, hey, we have a, a good matchup here. So we want to attack that matchup until they stop it. And luckily for us, like I said, Elaine was able to score and um, Bong was able to score. And we were able to get some points off of pick and rolls um, using certain matchups. Uh, so in the end, it ended up working out pretty well because my import was still able to score. Thank you, Coach. Camille Naredo, follow-up question. No, I'm OK. Thank you, Paul. Mr. Ruben Terrado. Good evening, Coach. Coach, we just want to get your thoughts about uh, getting 701 wins in your career. That I think that's second coach to win 700 games, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I did not know that. Uh, you say 701 wins in my PBA career? Yes, coach. Wow, that's a lot of wins. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I had... Ice cream, next time, next game. Um, 
no, I had no clue about something like that. Uh, it's the first time I've ever heard it. Um, you know what it means. It means I've been around for a long time. I've been coaching for a long time. And yeah, uh, who are the other guys? I would imagine it's Baby DeLupin and Tim Cohn. Tim Cohn, okay. That's good company. Very good company. Wow. Coach, just, yeah. Coach, just one follow-up. Raymond Almasan also played well, especially in the yes. third, kept you in the game. So just your, your thoughts about Raymond. Yeah, he gave us a big lift today offensively. Uh, I talked to him in practice yesterday and I asked him just to slow down just a little bit because sometimes he gets the ball in the paint and he, he rushes it and he loses the basketball or he misses a, a, a pretty easy shot underneath. I thought today he really took his time and was very deliberate around the basket. He hit a couple of jump shots for us. He got to the foul line for us. And that's what we need from, from Raymond. Uh, the one thing I always note with Raymond Almasan, since he joined the Morocco team, we've been doing very, very well with our win-loss record. So he's a big part of our team. He gives us that big man in the middle that all teams need. And tonight he was very, uh, he played very, very well. He was exceptional, actually. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. With no more questions, that ends our post-game interview. Thank you very much, Coach Norman. Thank you. Salamat. Uh. Seven hundred.